Hello mermaids, it's Serafina Delirium and today I'm recording for Friday, July the 15th, 2022 and I am wearing the look, it's the CoverGirl True Naked That's Rad palette. So I posted this video on Tuesday, so yes I'm recording this on Tuesday and I'm posting it on Friday the 15th, so we're kind of making this video early and that's fine. So this is the That's Rad palette and it's the look that I'm wearing today and I really love this. I love these colors and I love the shimmers, although the um, white on the bottom is kind of creasing up a little bit, which is making me look old and wrinkly. So this is take a chill pill. I mean this eyeshadow needs to take a chill pill and stop making me feel old and wrinkly. But otherwise, I really like it. Um, the black shade I'm actually using as eyeliner today. It's in Bangin'. So I have quite a few colors from this palette today. So if you haven't done it already, go check out that video for the get ready with me for this look and I will link it down below. And without further ado, let me put that back in the drawer, close it up. I have a huge drawer of makeup. It's nonsense. It's full of eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get into Shop My Stash number 11. I think, yeah, this is Shop My Stash number 11. This is my perfume collection. Now, I wanted to do new and vintage bottles because I have a whole collection of vintage perfume bottles behind me, but I'll get to that later. So we might just do a part one of Shop My Stash number 11, or if you don't see a part two of this video, it's because I didn't feel like showing off my vintage bottles. I wanted to go ahead and move on to Shop My Stash number 12, um, which will be self-care, bath, and shower stash stuff, like deodorants, meds, and self-care. But for number 11, I wanted to show you my perfume. And most of it would be, like, well, all of it right here, what I'm showing you is perfume that I have open. And before I do that, I have been forgetting to do this. I have a stack of fortune cookies that I want to read like one per video. And I chose one for this video and I wanted to go ahead and read it because I'm like fortune cookie obsessed. I love these things. We love to go to Chinese all the time. And I love fortune cookies. They're like my favorite thing ever. So this is, it says, this is the fortune cookie and it says, commitment is the stuff character is made of. The power to change the face of things. And the lucky numbers on the back are 45, 56, 47, 42, 14, and 26. I'll read it one more time. Commitment is the stuff character is made of. The power to change the face of things. I love that. That spoke to me. So let's go ahead and get into Shot My Stash number 11, Perfumes. Now I have a basket underneath me. I'm out of frame and you probably saw the paint on my arm. Yes, I have been painting. I painted today. Half of my room is now white. The other half is green and covered up by a tapestry behind me. And that little, that little line of green. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of green behind it. But yeah, whatever. So this basket is full of perfume that I can use at the moment. Everything else I have is empty bottles. But this is stuff that is still usable. I don't think I have any on my desk. I think I put it all in this basket. So let's start with the perfume itself and then I'll show you if I have a box for it, I'll show you the box. Because I do have boxes. I say I love boxes. I probably have more boxes other places, but I don't know where they are. But they aren't for these. So yeah, I have a note to myself that says the boxes. So the first thing we're gonna get into is this. It's Juicy Couture and I don't know. Okay, I have the box for it, so I know what it is. This is Viva La Juicy. And here's the box for it. So I have this one as a little bow, and I don't use it often. It was a gift from like a stranger. They bought it for me on Amazon, and I really don't know who sent it. And I was really grateful for it, but at the same time, I was like, who, who got this for me? So I don't know who it's from, but I, I wanted to say thank you to that person. Um, and it's a very pretty perfume. So the box says, it doesn't say anything about the scent of it, but it is one fluid ounce or 30 milliliters. And I love the pink. I used to be like really into Juicy Couture because it's like pink and bows. Um, and it says, love J and P, G and P. Oh, it's Viva La Juicy. I think G and P are like the two Westies. They used to have two Westies for Juicy Couture. And they don't really show them off anymore. But it doesn't have anything about this fragrance on the box. But it does say stuff for nice girls all over the bottle. Stuff for nice girls. Stuff for nice girls. So that's the first one that I have. And then I have another Juicy Couture perfume. I have barely used it. 
this is a big bottle. I think this is 3.4 fluid ounces. But yeah, it's a big bottle of Juicy. And this is Couture Couture by Juicy Couture. And it says, do Couture yourself. Yeah, it's 3.4 fluid ounces or 100 milliliters. Eau de parfum spray. I'm putting it in front of my face. There's like shadows in front of my face. I'm sorry about that. And the back of it doesn't say a whole lot about it either. I believe these are fruity scents. But I will try to find like descriptions of these scents down below. I will write them down below. If I can find something about them, I will write it. But yeah, I have barely touched this. It's still up to the top. It's good. They're both good. Um, this one's new as well. Um, but yeah, I just don't use them a lot. This one was a gift from my mom, I believe. I believe it was a gift from my mom. Don't quote me on that, but I think it was. Now this next one I know for a fact was a gift from my mom. And I do have the top of this. It's like a little, it says KP on it. And I believe it's inside the box. This is the Killer Clean by Katy Perry perfume. And it's like a scepter. I don't know if you guys remember the advertisements that Katy Perry did. She was a queen, like a red queen, kind of like Alice in Wonderland. And she had this and it was her scepter. And I love that. So when I dressed up as Maleficent one year, I was thinking about the scepter. I had my like bird on a stick, you know, the raven. So it's Killer Queen by Katy Perry. It's 100 milliliters or 3.4 fluid ounces. And let me see if the little part is inside the box. It should be. Yeah, it is. I really am careful about holding on to things, although I did just drop it in the floor. So let me get it. And you get to see like my chair. This is my grandfather's chair. So this is the top and it broke off and I tried so hard to glue it back on, but it just doesn't want to stay. So this goes onto this lid and it says KP on it. I don't know how well you can see it, but um, it, it is supposed to say KP. And it's just cheap plastic, which is a shame because the bottle itself is really nice, but like the lid is just plastic. Um, but this was really expensive. And the perfume is really nice and it's down to here now. I don't know how well you can see what's in the bottle, but it's down to here. I do not, like when I do product, Project pans, I don't use Sharpie on my perfume bottles to see how much is used. Unless it's something I really didn't care about, I am not going to put Sharpie on that bottle. I will put Sharpie on like, I don't know, a nail polish, but I will not do it to a perfume bottle because I save perfume bottles. Um, so that's just a note there. This is kind of dusty. I've had this since I was a kid and or teen, like 12, 13 years old. Um, and I haven't really used it. Actually, I think we had a bigger one, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if like this is a repurchase. Um, come on, does this come off? No, this comes off. Okay, so it has like the original hearts on it. I do not have the box for this, but I have these hearts. They're kind of falling off a little bit. Um, and here's the top and it goes down, you push it down. Kind of reminds me of something from Aladdin, like Jasmine and Aladdin. But this is Curious by Britney Spears. And you can see it has not been used a lot of. And it is actually um, one fluid ounce or 30 milliliters. And I, I miss this scent. I can't wait to use it again. I love this bottle. It's beautiful. Now, I loved Britney Spears as a kid. And I had like several of her albums. She was one of the first CDs I was allowed to get and share in Britney Spears. So like when she had this perfume, this was like the thing. And the box, I think, was black. I really wanted another one. It was a ball. And it was, there were several of them. There was a pink one and a cobalt blue one, but I got this one. I remember they had them at CVS Pharmacy and we picked them up. But this is really sentimental and I'll probably be using it at some point. But that's why I haven't used it is because I've had it so long um, that it's just like, it's a near and dear friend. And I just love how it's mermaid colors. It's, it's teal. I, I've always loved blue. Blue used to be my favorite color as a little girl. And you can tell it still kind of is, but in a different way. Like I love teal. I know my daughter loves teal and I love purple and pink. Can you tell? I love purple and pink. So anyway, this next one is actually a gift from Brian and it's a repurchase. Now, um, the first, the first thing I got 
um, I had another Daisy by Marc Jacobs, and this is the box it went in, but it got broken, and so, yeah, it got smashed <laughs> on accident. So it was 50 milliliters or 1.7 fluid ounces, and this is a gift box for it. It's the original gift box that Marc Daisy, um, Daisy by Marc Jacobs goes in, um, and I love this perfume. It's an old friend of mine. It made me feel like a rich girl. All of these scents do, really. They're, like, my favorites, like, my sworn by... The last man standing perfumes so I've used everything up but this is really special and this was a repurchase and what Brian did is he got me the entire gift set and the body there's a shower gel and a lotion I believe they're in the bathroom and I'll probably show them to you in one of my next shop my stash videos but they came in this gift set he paid like 75 80 dollars for this and that's what happened with the Katy Perry and there was some Lady Gaga perfume my mom has gotten me so many perfume gift sets too and these came from Peebles so this one came from Peebles so I use this box all the time for stuff, but the first Marc Jacobs Daisy came in this one. So I actually have a couple of Marc Daisy boxes, and I can use this one for this, even though this wasn't the original bottle. But I absolutely loved, I loved this scent at the time. It was kind of a signature scent for me. It was like 2016, 2015, 2016, 2017. It was my signature scent, and it's still very special to me. And last but not least, I actually only have two left. They're very tiny. Um, I've pretty much panned every other perfume that I have, um, starting with travel sizes or perfumes that aren't sentimental. And currently I'm actually working on Katy Perry. Um, that's actually my go-to right now. But these are probably next in line after Katy Perry. And this one, I actually am not the biggest fan of Modern Muse. I have to be honest with you, I'd, I hope this doesn't offend anybody, but it kind of it's like an old lady church smell to me. Like, but it's, it's Estee Lauder. So Estee Lauder has been around a long time. So people love that scent. You know, it's just, it's a scent. It's like musky to me, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I'm actually not as big of a fan of it as I thought it would be. I hope that came out correct English, but I have Modern Muse by Estee Lauder. And this is like a, I want to say travel size, but you wouldn't really throw this in your purse. It would get broken. Um, I would say a mini and it is point. 14 fluid ounces or 4 milliliters, is that right? 0.14 fluid ounces. I think it says 4 milliliters. And anyway, I have that one and I'll probably use it next. I've used it a little bit. I wanted the big bottles, but I'm glad I did not invest or ask anyone else to invest in the big bottle because it's actually not my favorite. I prefer like floral, fruity, um, and I love Fall, Fall Cashmere by um, Skylar. Brian actually just bought me another perfume that's coming. It's by Skylar, and it is in coconut. Is it in coconut or is it in vanilla something? I don't know, but I have another perfume coming. By, it's from Ipsy, and I am so excited. I have wanted another Skylar replacement perfume for so long, and I am, like, completely overjoyed. So, anyway, the last man standing right now, as follows, is another Juicy Couture. And it's just a little mini. It has a little crystal lid on there. And the difference between this Modern Muse and the Juicy Couture is this one you can spray. Just like the rest of them that I had showed you, this one you can spray. But this one, you take the lid off and you actually dab it on your wrist from this bottle. And I am not the biggest fan of that. I mean, it's cool. I like that you can dab this on your wrist or you can use this as a dabber. You can just dab it. Um, used that word in a long time, dab. It's a perfume word. Um, but yeah, there's this much in there. I haven't used it a lot and it will be next on my list after Katy Perry or maybe before. And this is five milliliters and it kind of smells a little bit like the modern muse. Same, same, but different, very different. They're both an artificial scent, but, and a little musky, but different, different, different. But I do prefer fruity or, um, florally scents. So this is the basket they were in and it's now empty. And that's all the perfumes that I have that I'm using up now. So if you don't see a part two on this or it's a while before you do, don't worry about it. We'll get there. I do have a bunch of empty perfume bottles or perfume that is vintage and cannot be used because it's just so old. However, it is so special and the bottles are they're special. They're, they've been passed down from grandmother to mother to daughter, which is me, the daughter. 
um, that I am just not getting rid of them at all. They're, they're staying with me. I love perfume. There are two things that I love more than any other makeup product, and they are nail polish and perfume, and it has always been that way, and it always will be. I think it's the glass aesthetic. It just makes me, it just feels more expensive. So, um, cause I would, if I could, I would be the kind of girl that bought like Chanel and yeah, pretty much just Chanel, <laughs> maybe a Birkin bag. I don't know. Um, but right now, like I can't even afford Michael Kors, you know what I'm saying? Like there's differences here, but anyway, that's my taste. So I hope your mermaids have a wonderful, fantastic Friday, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, because we, when we get to 500 YouTube subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a bunch of makeup and stuff, and there will be more to come. I love doing giveaways, so don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and if you're interested, go follow me on Instagram, and I will link that down below. It's S underscore delirium cosmetics and um yeah find me there and follow me on instagram and you and um, are getting another spot in the giveaway so there's tons of stuff you can do to get in on that and let's just be friends and i'll see you next time